and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Uh, never done one of these before, so please bear with me and also please bear with traffic that's passing our house as we speak. Um, my name's Tom, Tom Hale, and I'm a nature and wildlife photographer in my spare time. It's purely just a hobby. Uh, I'm not a professional. So yes, I'm a nature and wildlife photographer. And I want to start my channel by um, introducing people that may be new to photography or, or are into photography, but they want to maybe try and better their skills in some way, shape or form. Maybe I know something that you don't or you know something I don't. Comment below with any suggestions or topics or anything. Um, but anyway, but today I, I want to do just a short little video um, just with a bit of bird photography, but garden bird photography. Um, I'm not going to use my primary camera. I'm going to use a very old, <laughs> um, it's 12 years old in fact, um, a Nikon D3000. Um, with a very budget 70 to 300 Sigma zoom lens, again, which is 12 years old. Um, so yeah, I, I basically wanna show people that you can still get good results with old cameras and on a budget. We don't need to be spending thousands of pounds like my other gear and like a lot of you may already have. Um, but if, you, if you're getting into or you want to get into nature and wildlife photography, you don't have to jump in the deep end with it. You can start off small and build things up as time goes on. Uh, that's what I have to do, and I'm sure that's what a lot of people do. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna to use today, and then we're gonna just talk about how we're gonna try and capture some images of birds and with this budget camera, just to see how good it is. So. Let's go inside and get the camera ready. Okay, so now we're inside. Um, just gonna show you what we're gonna use today. Uh, this is obviously my everyday camera. Uh, it's what I do 99.5% of my time photography wise with. Uh, it's a Nikon D500 with a Nikkor 200 to 500 f5.6 VR lens, very capable, both camera and lens are very capable of a lot, um, seems to do me fine, others may disagree, I don't know, um, the dog's come in here now, um, hey, go and lay down, anyway, so, but today we're going to be using a 12 year old, as I said, a 12 year old um, Nikon D3000 with uh, a Sigma, I don't know what it is, oh, F4 to 5.6, 70 to 300 zoom lens. And um, we'll see what kind of images we can get with this. Uh, I think, if memory serves me right, because I haven't used this for a long time, I've given it to our four year old son now. Um, who's getting into nature and wildlife photography, so which is great. Um, but uh, so I don't know if he's damaged it, I don't know if it still works properly, but let's give it a go. Um, all we're gonna use is a tripod, obviously, and um, we're just gonna find a little area in the garden and we'll talk about the setup. So let's go into the garden. Okay, so I've chosen my spot in the garden um, we're going to be luring the birds onto this perch. Now, whenever I'm doing any bird photography in the garden, now normally I do use feeders. Uh, I have feeders set up in the garden just to encourage birds into our gardens. And um, however, whenever I'm doing any photography, I remove the feeders. Not only that, but with the avarian flu that we've got, avian fuse, uh, flu, sorry, that we've got going around at the moment, it is really important to wash your feeders. 
normally I wash them once a week. However, as soon as they're empty, I'm washing them, restocking them, putting them back out. Um, however, with what's going around at the moment, and unfortunately it is killing a lot of birds, unfortunately, um, which we can't do anything about uh, due to the spread of it. But um, if you do have feeders, please keep them clean because um, we don't want to lose the birds in our gardens really do we anyway back to the main topic right <laughs> anyway so we're going to try and lure the birds onto this perch now you can add little perches whatever you can use twigs with these little clamp things and you clamp these twigs branches anywhere you like depending on what background you want if you want a nice scenic background then put it in the open um, but again it's personal preference uh, so nothing really important there um, but what we're going to be trying to do is get the birds landing on here and that's where we're going to be photographing them they're going to be either on the fence or on the perch now I've put some seed into the perches or into the perch itself and along the fence and we'll see what comes down hopefully we'll get something um, normally we tend to get blue tits great tits coal tits nut hatches woodpeckers great spotted woodpeckers jays buzzards um, and the squirrel as well loves the feeders um, so what I like to try and do with the squirrels is I feed them independently in the woods We've got a lot of woods surrounding the house uh, So I have feed stations for the squirrels To just keep them away from the birds basically uh, It doesn't always work, but anything's worth a try in my opinion so we're gonna see what comes along today um, hope I've seen a few robins um, already this morning uh, the nut hatches and um, the normal common garden birds. The only thing we don't get here is house sparrows and magpies. Don't know why. Traffic. Um, but yeah, so if anyone knows, we live out in the sticks, but we don't seem to get any magpies here. Surrounded by farmland and woodland, but no magpies, which is rather bizarre. Um, but if anyone knows, please comment down below and let us know um, why. Anyway, so we're going to get set up now. I'll show you, I'll spin the camera around, show you where I've got the camera situated. We're approximately about 15 to 20 meters away from the, the perch where I want to be targeting the birds. Now I've position the camera against a big hedge because I don't want to be sticking out like a sore thumb so I want something behind me I want to try and blend in as much as possible um, okay yes I know I've got camo gear on and stuff but unless I'm in a hide I'm still going to be seen um, but we're not doing hide photography today um, but anyway so I'll spin the camera around and show you what we're or where we're shooting from Okay, so as you can see, I've got a nice background behind me, which, I'm, which is going to help me blend into it. Um, obviously not fully conceal me, that's not what I'm after today. Uh, with garden birds, you don't really, really need concealment. Um, but I just don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. And not only that, I don't want to get too close to the birds neither. Um, because the idea is not to be scaring them. I, I'm trying to encourage them to come to me so I can photograph them. Um, now, we've got a few things above my head right now. I don't know, I can't. There's a robin up there. Um, the great tit just over there. So, I don't know, once I start or should I say, once I stop talking and get behind the camera, hopefully it will settle down and we'll start getting birds to the feeders. So, we'll get set up and we'll crack on. But 
what will be interesting is seeing the quality of the images from a 12 year old very entry level camera. do come eventually. It can sometimes be a waiting game. Okay, well, there you go. That's how easy it is and how cheap and fun it can be. Um, anyway, we're going to call it a day today because this is all I wanted to show you that it can be done on a budget. That budget can be as small or as big as you like, but you don't have to start big, as I said earlier on. Um, so we're going to go in, we're going to check out what photos we've got and then I'm going to put them up at the end of the video. And uh, as I say, this is my first, first ever video. I don't know how well it's going to do or how good it's going to be. But if I practice, hopefully I'll get better. But if you like the content, then as I say, I would really appreciate if you subscribed and give us a follow, give us a share, thumbs up, click the, the bell thing, whatever that is. I think that alerts you if I've posted up a new video. Um, but anyway, hopefully see you on our next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.